Hello everyone, this is Sol. I wanted to make this quick video, hopefully it's quick anyway, on the switching from Vortex to Mod Organizer 2. And first and foremost, I do want to mention the differences and the advantages as well as disadvantages of the two. For Mod Organizer, it is more meant for modding veterans. Uh, it is meant for you to be more in control, but it can also be somewhat challenging in terms of the visuals of the Mod Organizer 2, because once you get in there, it's everywhere and you don't exactly know where to start. I mean, there's also guides you can look up, but if you don't want to do that, then it will be challenging and it will not affect your actual Skyrim folder or whatever folder you organize, especially. And that this also only affects, I believe, 11 games or or more, I'm not sure. It could be more, I can't, I can't remember. Mod Organizer 2 has a limited amount of games, as, but Vortex has like more than 50, I know that for sure. It is the successor to the Nexus Mod Manager. Uh, Vortex is meant for beginners. It is meant to be an easy install of mods for a beginner user, and it is highly recommended if you don't want to be in depth with your modding. And you want a more simpler approach and not much brain power to be used as mod organizer can be somewhat confusing if you don't know how to use it now this is not a tutorial on how to use mod organizer 2 this is just on how to switch from vortex to mod organizer 2 and so on i will also show you how to do the instances if you don't know how to do instances which is basically a new game adding a game to the mod organizer 2. i've done vortex videos on the past uh, they're not entirely too in depth but they will get you the general gist on how to use vortex with mod organizer 2 however it is a completely different beast uh well i say beast yet it is not truly a beast <laughs> uh mod organizer 2 is definitely different though compared to vortex and it is a longer standing mod organizer compared to vortex and it is highly recommended throughout the community so if you're here because of that recommendation, then hopefully this video will help you transfer your Vortex mods to Nexus with ease. To start off with, first, well, obviously you need to go to Vortex, right? So here's Vortex, and you need to go to your mods section, little wrench, and hit purge. Once you purge your mods, it basically will disable all the mods as best as it can do. If, if that was even English, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Uh, my brain's not working today but um once you hit purge that's pretty much all you do with vortex and you're pretty much good to go on this end it is this part is super easy and not even tedious at all and once you've done this you know go back to, or open up your new mod organizer it should have the old mods installed meaning it'll have like a bunch of numbers at the end and like this amidian born here that has a bunch of numbers as well as uh, Alpha Werewolf Sounds and All Geared Up Derivative and so on. Basically, these mods are being pulled from my directory, which I will show you how to set that up here shortly. If you don't have this, clearly it's because of that directory issue. And new mods will not have all those numbers and they'll just have regular little tidbits without the numbers and it'll actually give you that option. To set up your directory, you go to your settings. So. You would go over here, the a little wrench and screwdriver. Pardon my cats, <laughs> they're jingling around back there. So you'll be hit in general. And first off, clearly you want to go to Nexus and connect to Nexus and do that from there. So uh, you want to hit associate with download manager links. Basically when you hit vortex, the vortex button on the mod page, it will actually go here instead or it'll say mod manager download, whichever of the two. And then once you do that, it will be ready for you to download mods. So it will, all the downloads will appear in the downloads folder, which is right here. All of your stuff will appear here from now on. And your saves, if you want it, there's your saves and then your data, easy access to your data and then easy access to your archives if you need them go back and to set up your paths you need to go to the path section and go start off with your downloads so this can be the same as your vortex so if you go to vortex 
go to your settings, your downloads. Just you can either copy this path or you know, go to the path, copy this path from here, and go back to the mod organizer and hit that there. But I would also suggest going here and adding Skyrim VR into the mix. Same thing with the for the mods. So go here, go to Vortex Mods, and your Skyrim VR, and there you go. It's simple as that. There's nothing more to do. You will have to re-enable all the mods from the the left panel here to get them to be shown up, show up on the right side, and you will have to make sure they're ticked correctly on the right side. Unless, again, if you have a specific condition for a particular mod, like the Vision All-in-One series. The Vision All-in-One requires you to turn off the wives, NPCs, and war maidens of the ESPs and leave the All-in-One enabled. Now, I want to mention that sorting your load order through Nexus Mod Manager may be different or even drastically different from your Vortex load order. And if it happens, it can screw up your game and you'll, you won't have a fun day. But there is a way to get around that and I'll show that here shortly. So once you've all enabled your your stuff, you can do stuff like uh, manage your profile. If you want a profile, you can you know, manage and you can set up a profile. I mean, you transfer saves even if you want to. So for example, I have Freya and Freya and I can move them over if I want to. Or if I just leave it default, it'll be on the default path. I just stick with default, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. And you can also back up your, your files as well as your load order right here in these corners. Again, that is all up to you if you wanna do that. And again, the sorting is different compared to Vortex. It uses loot, so it's it's pretty much integrated compared to like the same thing as Vortex. It is an uh, integrated looting system. And it will sort these all for you. And once it's done, you just hit close, and there you go. If you have the issue of, you know, when you load the game and it says you're missing ESMs, it'll even say the obvious ESMs, like uh, Skyrim ESM, update ESM. If you're missing those, it's what if that's what it says, then you have to redo your load order manually, which you can do here, just dragging and just moving it around. This is tedious, but if you want your save to work again, if you switch over, this is what you need to do, okay? Uh, first off, you want to download Resaver. Link is in the description for you, yeah. so if you don't have it. So download Resaver, you can install it anywhere, anywhere in, at all, and just run the EXE, find your saved files. So mine is in my documents, my game, Skyrim VR, saves, and there we go. I would pick my latest save and open. And there are times will it say, well, it will say there's like, you could have like 4,000 instance, unattached instances or 300 elements. And you can remove those safely from here. You just hit, go to clean, remove unattached instances, and then undefined elements. And that will clean your save to, as, to the best of its ability. And then you can pretty much save if your load order is perfectly fine. But if it's not, you would go to plugins right here and just just copy this. Copy this. That's, that's all I can really tell you. For example, say my Holly high poly head ESM is right here. And it says, oh, you need to move this further. Uh, there it is. So it is underneath um, campfire and stuff. Well, it's not going to show me the ESL files. So, but there's campfire. And I can just put it back here. And there you go. ESL files it won't exactly matter too much. So, yeah, th but that's what you have to do is. So again, for example, if Smim was above mortal enemies and the resaver said, no, that's not right. You need to move this below uh, Prometheus No Snow. So Prometheus No Snow, and there you go. That would be fixed. And if you want to, you can select all or a control A, right click, lock load order. If you don't, if you accidentally hit sort or something. But if you do this, any new mods that are added in will not be sorted properly. So use this at your own discretion. You could also just start a new save so you want to deal with all this but i just wanted to point this out to you in case you want to use a save that you had in the past now if you need a new instance and you don't if it didn't provide an instance for you you can just hit the 
icon up here on the top left and then create a new instance and then it will be like what is an instance blah 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 and then create a global instance right and it'll find the game that you want you would like to manage uh, usually it's automatic but and that is pretty much it in terms of how to do it and how to fix your save your load order if you have that issue uh, i also want to mention if you have your files or any setup through the config tool sometimes it will not coordinate well entirely two mod orders are two so you'd open your vr configuration tool from elago uh, on here right click open folder or open in file manager run the exe or in your dashboard and open the any files directly you can also just go to uh, documents i believe my games skyrim vr and then your prefs any and then your skyrim skyrim any you're the skyrim vr any you would copy these two both all the contents into your any which is the puzzle piece icon any editor and then paste the two in their respective pieces so i hope this helped um because i definitely needed it when uh i needed to do this or wanted to do this so i wanted to make a video on mod organizer well i didn't really need much help but i knew what to do for the most part there was just one thing i needed help on which was my load order thing and i had that help from shizoff on the skyrim vr community because i'm a stupid and uh, i didn't realize the sorting was different compared to vortex and sometimes it, it will allow you to or it will notice if there's another executable in the folder so if it doesn't though you can just hit edit and then you know for example synthesis and you find the path find the exe open and there you go same thing for skse i have two because it recognized the second one when i did this one manually so i just want to point that out i think that's it um i don't there's not much really for me to cover too well because I mean, again, this is more for people with advanced knowledge of modding. However, if there's something in particular you want me to do with Mod Organizer 2, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get with it as much as as fast as I can. Or you can just message me in the, my Discord server, the Soul Chamber, in the modding help section, and I'll help you there as well. That is it for this video. I hope this helped you in any way, shape, or form. And if it did, please leave a like down below as well as comment and just Help me out here. <laughs> I mean, the best thing for you to do to help me out in this small channel, uh, which I'm very grateful for those who subscribed and found me, uh, the best thing you can do is just like the video and interact with the video. Tell me something funny in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, my name is SoulBC, and I will see you all in the next video, which should be about Nemesis. So, the only thing I gotta say to you is keep your soul free. <laughs>